Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Blackwell Convergence. Last episode, we have... We... Last episode, we had gone into Frank Lyon's apartment, and uh, it had Joey memorized a script. This episode, we're using this script to, uh, to basically tell Frank Lyons he's dead. So, here's what we need to say. Let's get on with it. Hi again. I knew you'd come. Okay, asked how he knew. How did you know I'd come? I know you, Vaughn. Perhaps too well. Right. Look, I just want to talk to you. Are you sure that's right? Yes, just for a few Whoops. minutes. No, I don't think that's right. Let's try again, shall we? What are you talking about? <clears throat> I, I knew you. For yeah, which dialogue option to respond to what we need? Never mind. Yeah. I'm gonna Is take a right? closer look at this again. Okay. Right. I have to tell you something. Right. What about me? What about me? I again. I knew. I'm gonna skip through the dialogue we've already seen. How did you know I? I know you. Could I ask you a couple of questions? Huh? Oh, let's. <clears throat> I... Listen, I have to tell you something. No, no, that comes later. Try and con- Let's get- <clears throat> I knew you'd come. Yeah. How did you- I know you, Paul. Listen, I have to tell you something. Come on. The boat's going to leave any minute. Okay, there we go. You aren't going. I'm not going. Not going? What do you mean you're not going? Lose your temper. No, repeat yourself. I said I'm not going. You're staying? Yes, I'm staying here with, um, Tom. Tom? Tom? What's that idiot have that I don't? He's, uh, he's a good man, Zack, and he needs me. And what about me? You don't need me, Zack. You never did. Huh? That's not in the script. Wait, let's talk about this. And now we're at Just it. forget me. Be free. Yvonne. Wait. Yvonne. Yvonne. Yvonne? All right. Finished. Finally. Hey, Monique, when's the rap party again? Monique? Where is she? Where is everybody? And hey, now come on, guys. He's this is weird. Realizing. Where did everybody go? We done? Can I go now? We done? Can I go now? Time to talk to him once more. Oh, Rebecca, thank God. We just finished the scene, right? So where did everybody go? I'm not Rebecca, Frank. What? Of course you are. Only Rebecca could have finished the scene. Something's not right. Oh, say. Something is not right. I was here filming the scene. Something happened. Here it comes. Yep. Oh, I'm dead, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a ghost and I'm haunting my last film shoot. That's so cliche. I mean, it could I'm be sorry, worse. Frank. I really am. So what now? Just relax and take a hold of this. Okay, do it. It is time. Ow! I gotta work on my landings. It's so bright. It should hurt my eyes, but it doesn't. 
I don't think it's real light. I'm not sure what it is. It's beautiful. Just head towards it, Frank. That's all you need to do. You know, my very first acting role was a ghost. I was eight years old. We put on a Halloween play in third grade. I played scary ghost number three. Funny the things you remember. It wasn't a bad life, was it? I might not have made it big, but I made it somewhere. How many can say the I same? I mean, if you work in a tent. Not many. No, not many. I've had a pretty good run. If it's my time to go, then it's my time. I just wish I knew who choked me to death. Yeah. Wait, Wait a what? minute. You were choked? You had a heart That's attack. That's familiar. No, I was choked. I remember it distinctly. The news reports all said it was a heart attack. No disrespect, but I think I know how I died. The large hands around my neck? You don't forget a thing like that. Why would the press lie about how you died? I don't know. You'd think that they'd love a story about a murder. Funny. It doesn't even bother me. I think I'm ready to go. Wait, hold on a second. No can do. I gotta fly. See you around. And thanks. Just a few questions. So... Damn it. He was strangled. Huh? Ooh, that's odd. Uh... Hey, what the... I'm warning you. You? No, it can't Wait a minute. I can still help you. No. You're dead, aren't you? The so countess? many dead. So many glide upon the earth. Tell me something I don't know. Did you kill Frank? I helped him. I get no hey, thanks. I'm sorry. If you want me to thank you, how about you buzz off? <laughs> I can help you. You are still in pain. So much pain. No way. Not again. This ends now. Why do you resist? Resist? I'll show you resist. I see you. I know you. You don't know Jack. This lady. might be a problem. Joey? Clear off, kid. Get back. It's her. After all this time. Hey, you stay away from her. You hear me? I... I'm sorry. Joey, who was that? <sighs> Trouble. Well? Well, what? Who is she? Her. She's nobody's sweetheart. Just some spook. She attacked you, Joey. Why did she do that? I have no idea. You think I've got all the answers? Yes. Well, you're wrong. I'm just in the dark as you are. You're lying. You recognized her, and she knew you. Tell me, Joey, please. Yeah, I know her. She calls herself the Countess. She's from an old case, back when I was with your aunt. She was alive then, and just as crazy. Tell me. Look, it's late. You want to be up all night, or you want the short version? Well, we know everything, but Rosa doesn't. So, let's go with the long version. Tell me everything. We thought she was a raving loony at first. We'd see her on the street, ranting like a crazy woman. We were investigating these two ghosts. Both had been killed by an old woman. Didn't take much deduction to put two and two together. So she was killing people? Not exactly. She thought she was freeing people. You see, she was a medium. A medium? Like me? Like Auntie? Yeah, only she didn't have a spirit guide. There was this reporter, Joseph Mitchell. Somehow they formed a bond. He didn't know it, but whoever he wrote about, she would go and kill. She was freeing their spirits, which is what you mediums do best. But they were still alive. She didn't seem to realize that. In the end, she tried to free your Aunt Lauren. So, we stopped her. You stopped her? How? We just did. So what now? Her spirit is seeking revenge? I don't think so. Why now? Why all this time? Besides, I saw her die. There was no ghost. So she's not a ghost. I don't know what she is. Let's talk about this in the morning. Right now I'm taking a hot shower and going to bed. Sure, Perhaps sure. she's incapable of moving on. Uh. Okay, a little dream. We're in the Mineta. Poor deluded man, enthralled to a madness that even he could not explain. A madness called the Countess. 
I... I know you. We have spoken before, but it is not important. But hush, aren't you tired? You need to rest. Tired? Shh, just sleep. That's it, sleep. Tomorrow you will wake up energized and refreshed. You will not remember me, but don't worry. We will meet very shortly. Good morning. You're perky today. Sleep well? Yeah, I did. I've been thinking. Too much has happened for this to be mere coincidence. What do you mean? In the gallery, there was a painting. A painting of her. Right. Really? The painting I looked familiar, but I didn't recognize it until now. What did it look like? Why don't we head over and you can take a look for yourself. Sounds like a plan, but first... to a park, I mean, a park gallery, and there's only the one. Uh, we're heading to an art gallery. Why not Google? Uh, just a, mm, basics about art appreciation. Yeah, this is important for a puzzle. So, talk about the colors, talk about why it's provocative to you. Tell the artist what you think it represents. You coming? Hold your horses, will you? I'm coming. The reason I looked at that will be evident soon. There. It's her. I knew it. Now look at that and tell me this isn't a coincidence. Stupid old hag. We'll find you. Just see if we don't. Definitely looks like the woman from the other night, but she looks sad. It's just a lighthouse. Hmm. I wonder which one. Hi, Josie. Can I talk to you for a bit more? I'm kind of swamped, but okay. I'd like to know more about that painting there. Oh, the dark lady. It's different than his other paintings. I'm worried the investors won't like it, but Claude insists. What do you want to know? I mean, of course it's different. It's the only painting with a person in it. What can you tell me about the dark lady? Well, it's different, isn't it? Claude's work is mostly abstract, but this is actually of a specific subject. Did Claude ever say why? No, but she's definitely striking. She strikes all right. I still got the scars. Claude gets weird when I ask who she is or why he put her in front of the Roosevelt Island Lighthouse. I figure it's just one of those eccentric artist things. The Roosevelt Island Lighthouse, huh? It's been a while since I've been over there. Yeah, that's unfortunately relevant. Okay. Where can I find the artist? Where can I find Claude? Knowing him? He's probably preparing for tonight. Preparing? You know, glug glug. He's hitting the sauce. Ah. I can't believe Joey needed to spell that out. 
You mentioned something about investors. Oh yes, the Meltzer Foundation. They paid for everything. The renovation, the lights, everything. I've got to pay them back eventually, of course, but still. Hmm. That's gonna be relevant later. Thanks, Josie. I'd better get going. Sure, Angela. I'll see you at the opening tonight. So... It's a stretch, but... The only person who... First off, the only person who knows anything about the painting is going to be Kong. And we only know of one bar. So there's only one place he could be hitting the sauce. Uh, let's go to the lighthouse first. Here we are. I don't see any ghosts. Do you sense anything? Nope, seems clean to me. Really? You sure? I said there's nothing here. Well, no ghosts anyway. I mean, it's relatively clean. Cleaner than the last time Joey was here. And there's our artist. But first... It's a portrait of Joe Gould. Claude? Rosangela Blackwell, the writer. Come on over. Have a drink. You remember me. Who could forget someone who could down three glasses of claret in half an hour? <laughs> <laughs> early to be drinking says the woman who had to be carried home the other night by an old indian lady my opening is tonight and i intend to be well and truly plastered it's the only way i'll be able to bear it right he really doesn't like jersey park's clientele i'd like to talk to you about your work i'd love to but i'm not drunk enough I really like that painting of yours, the Dark Lady. My paintings aren't meant to be liked. They are meant to be understood. But nobody does. I feel like Joe Gould sometimes. You know about Joe Gould. Sure I do. He was one of the city's last geniuses. Or maybe he was just nuts. I don't know. Maybe I'm just nuts too. Either way, he's famous now. Thanks to Joseph Mitchell. Did he just say Joseph Mitchell? Hmm. There's our connection between the Countess and Joe Gould. Could you tell me more about Joseph Mitchell? Another of the city's great geniuses. Gone. He could talk to you for five minutes and then write a biography that made you seem like the most fascinating person alive. They wouldn't be alive for long. But then he stopped writing. Nobody knows why. We know. He's not for sure. <laughs> he published a book about Joe Gould, and then poof, no more writing. He went to his office at the New Yorker every day for 30 years, but never wrote a single word. Okay, so yeah, that's the official story, anyway. I'd really like to know more about the Dark Lady. I have a. I don't talk about my work unless I'm drunk enough. How drunk is that? I'm not sure, but I'm working on it. <laughs> We're gonna have to leave and come back. Bye, Claude. Yeah. Or maybe we talk to the bartender. Hi there. Got time for some more questions? Sure, ask away. Yeah, no, we don't talk to the bartender. <laughs> Oh, wait. There's nothing but. I forgot we have a leak to ask you know, about. Can you tell me anything about the Meltzer Foundation? Those are the guys who are funding Josie's gallery? Yeah. You'd have to talk to Josie about them. I just throw colors at a canvas. Okay, so let's Hi, go yeah. back to the park gallery. 
Oh, sorry, there's a lot of walking around this episode. I mean, it's a point and click adventure game, and there's a lot of walking around. Just in general. Hi, Josie. Can I talk to you for a bit more? <laughs> I'm kind of swamped, but okay. Okay, Meltzer Foundation. Can you tell me anything about the Meltzer Foundation? Oh, those guys are a godsend. Without them, I never would have been able to open this place. I presented them with my plan for the gallery, and poof, they wrote me a check. That's pretty generous. I never thought I was venture capital material, but go figure. I'll have to pay them back, of course, and give them a percentage of our income. But look around. It's my life's dream realized. Hmm. Thanks, Josie. I'd better get going. Sure, as Angela. I'll see you at the opening tonight. Now, something else didn't quite line up. Come in. Oh, hello. Again? I don't remember. Can I combine clothes in this one? Let me check. I can't. I'd like to know the truth about Frank's death. What do you mean? I told you everything I know. Not everything. He didn't have a heart attack, did he? Oh, I love seeing sweat on a pretty girl's brow. Look, I gave my statement. Joey is why I should still tell you very creepy. What do you know about the Meltzer Foundation? Why, are you looking for a loan? <laughs> Maybe. You deal with them? They invested in our last film. Water Under the Bridge? That's the one. I assume they got their money back hmm. since the film was such a success. I can Not that it's any of your business, but yes, they did. So, the Meltzer Foundation funded the film and uh, the film that Frank Lyons died during. That's odd. to exaggerate the truth sometimes. Yes, what are you getting at? Let's say I wanted to embellish Frank's story. That instead of dying of a heart attack, he may be choked to death under mysterious circumstances. Rosangela, Frank died of a heart attack. He didn't choke to death. Are you sure? Positive. If he mysteriously choked to death, and the press got wind of it, scandal would ruin this company. Mm. It's much easier to tell the press that he died of a heart attack. He had no close family. He had no close friends to speak of. Nobody loses. I trust Easier we understand for each other, her. and I won't have to call my lawyer. Leave it, kid. We don't want a legal battle. No, I have all the information I need. Right. So she knows Frank's actual cause of death. I don't know if she was serious about calling a lawyer, but I really don't want to risk it. Thanks for the chat. Sure. Okay. Now let's go Oogle. Ugh. I can't, I can't. <laughs> it is a clever way of getting around a s of riding around a certain trademark.
I read a book about this place years ago. Nobody uses this lighthouse anymore. It's just a historic monument. Okay. So looking at the monument does nothing for us. Hi, is this the Meltzer Foundation? Yes. Oh, good. I was hoping to ask you a few questions. Paul, this one's for you. Mm -hmm. Oh, sure thing. Come on over and step into my office. Oh, right. So, I'm Paul Meltzer, and my silent partner over there is my brother, Charlie. Rosangela Blackwell. A pleasure. So, what can we do for you? I was hoping to talk to you about what you do here. Really? Well, well, well. We're moving up in the world, Charlie. Uh-huh. So, Rosangela, you with a newspaper? I'm sort of freelance. Struggling, eh? Well, that's what the Melter Foundation is all about. Isn't that right, Charlie? Uh-huh. Well, ask away. I was wondering what you do here. You know, I wonder that myself. <laughs> hey, Charlie, what do we do here? We give away money, Paul. That's right. We're into private investments. We grant risk-free capital to struggling businesses. Right. You really just give away money? <laughs> no, not exactly. It's about giving money away wisely. You heard the man. If you want the lowdown on what we do, just ask. Right. They basically give money and receive more money because of the loan they gave out. Josie Park told me that you invested in her gallery. You know Josie. How's she doing? She's fine, I guess. We're both rooting for her. Right, Charlie? Sure. Okay. And now... Monique told me that you invested in Cube Star Films. Monique, oh, oh yes, the, she's the executive producer, isn't she? Yes. She's doing a great job. That place is earning money hand over fist. Do you know anything about Frank Lyons, the actor? Of course. Can you believe it? A heart attack at his age. No, I can't believe it. Of course, who knows what kind of drugs those actors take. Okay, so can't confront him with that quite yet. Tell me more about the foundation. Let's say you have a brilliant idea for a business, but you've made some mistakes in the past. You've got bad credit or were in debt for a long time. No reputable bank in the country would give you a loan. Or if they did, they'd charge you a fortune in interest. But not us. We believe in a second chance. We'll loan you the money to kickstart your business in return for a share of the profits. If your business takes off, wonderful, we both win. If not, we're the one who pays for it. Okay. Cube Star Films became successful after Frank Lyons died. Did they? I suppose they did. That benefits you too, doesn't it? Oh, I see where this is going. What do you expect us to do? Give back the money? We're a private foundation. Money has to come in in order for money to go out. Someone died. Doesn't that bother you? Sure, it bothers me. Death is a horrible thing. But I don't see what it has to do with us. Gee. I wonder. Well, we can't do anything else here. Well, thanks for talking to me. I might be back later. Sure thing. Here, take my card. If you have any questions, just email. Oh, so you're on B-mail too. <laughs> is it everybody? Oh, hey, he's on the same email service. Interesting. God, did you see that chick walk? She waddles like a duck. Hmm? Huh? Our reporter friend. She's kind of your type. What do you mean? Yeesh, Charlie, come up for air. She walked right past your desk. I didn't see any duck. Never mind. We're going to stay in the eavesdrop next time on Let's Play the Blackwell Convergence. I've been Wise Mimir, and stay tuned for more. See ya next time.